So right now I just have your phone beside your tablet, anything like that where you guys can just go into your Nest app and we're gonna get started. So let's just hold this. That will activate this. So at this point in time, just have it there. And then we're gonna take an iPad, for example, just because it has a bigger screen. We're gonna look for that Nest app. So right now that we have open our app, our Nest app right here, we're just gonna tap on the gear icon on the top right hand corner of our screen. Once we do that, we're just gonna scroll all the way down and we're gonna see add product. So we want to do that, add product. We can scan the QR code. Now this is the QR code that came with it. So we can go on and do that. We can also continue without scanning, but scanning might help. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that QR code right there so my camera can read it. Now it knows that it's a um, Nest temperature sensor. I'm just gonna go next. Just have your temperature sensor nearby. So right now it's gonna be connecting and that's how you guys can connect this. So right now it is connecting up. That's all we had to do. It's being added as you guys can see. We can just go right into next. Now we already pulled out the battery tab. That's why we were able to scan it so easily. At this point, we're just gonna place it right here for now. Gonna go next. And as you set this up, remember to put it in the room already where it's gonna be because it's gonna start sensing the temperature there. So we're just gonna go next again. So right now, yep, living room, that's my living room. That's my Nest temperature sensor. Right now they actually synced up, perfect. We don't need to test again, we can just go next. And we can just put any one of these rooms. So we, whatever makes sense to you guys. So what I'm gonna do is just choose bedroom in this case. Right now it's telling you exactly what I told you guys. You could drill a hole and then just put it against the wall or just place it pretty much anywhere that's flat. I'm gonna go next and done. So right now it's sensing the bedroom and that's what it's doing. Now the good thing about this and bad thing is that it does have a battery, so that means we have to change it sometimes. It won't run out fast, but we will have to change it at a certain point. So on the back, using a coin, we can just change it up. It's pretty, pretty easy. Now if we tap on bedroom, for example, let me just show you what happens. We can actually set our thermostat to set the temperature for the entire house to be based on that bedroom. So right now it's in bedroom 25, so I could tap on my 25 and then it's gonna base it just on there and keep the house at whatever temperature it has to be in order for that bedroom to be at 23, for example, or if I wanted to set it up at 24, 25, whatever temperature you would like. But here on the side is where you would do that. So in my case, I'm gonna do exactly that. That's where I want it to be the best temperature and I want to keep it at 24-ish. So as long as the bedroom is 24 or, you know, right now it's over by 25, then it's gonna be good. So right now my thermostat is actually working with the bedroom. So it's gonna keep the bedroom at that temperature. So technically you could add one of these guys into every bedroom. And then if you wanted a particular bedroom to have a specific temperature, you could always set that up from here, just like you saw me do it right now. But anyways, that's how easy it is to set this up. We are all done at this point in time. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget, subscribe and rate. Thank you.